Hey. Your mum's not well, so I'm looking after the baby. Are you all right? What's happened? I just saw Vic. It just made me realise how much I miss her. Well, you'll be all right. You two have managed to sort things out in the past. Nah, it's different this time, Mum. It's over for good. And you know what? Ross did that to us. And I bet he's sat in the pub now laughing at me and my wrecked marriage. Uh, you, you know what? Might not make me feel any better, but I'm going to wipe a smug little grin off his face. Hey, Adam, he's right. Stay away from him. Adam! Adam! I'm telling you, he killed his own mum and he wants me to go down for it. I told you! He's out to get me and he ain't giving up. Then I'll stop him because I know the truth of it. Moira. What? Moira, stop. She knows nothing. But he's ruined my life and he's not getting away with it. I'm telling you, I'm going to beat the truth out of him. You can, because he didn't do it. Get inside now. He needs to know. It was me, son. I killed him. So this car sped off up Main Street, but you didn't see who was driving? Male, female, any passengers? Sorry, it's, it's not that I can't remember. I just didn't see inside. It, it was definitely Adam Barton's car, though, because seeing it today jogged a memory. Are you going to arrest him again? We'll investigate further. So please don't mention this to anyone. And thanks, Laurel, you've been very helpful. I tried so hard to rise above it. But Emma started on about you and then Holly. It was vicious. And now people think you did it. Ross, your own wife, for pity's sake. And that DS Benton, he's convinced it's you and he won't give up until you're behind bars. Come on, it's going to be all right. Right, you can see she's in a bad way. You need to go now. Now, I am not watching him going down for this. I'm going to go to the police and I'm going to tell them the truth right now. Don't be stupid. You can't do that. You're not going anywhere. Let me go. I'm not going to let them put this on, Adam. Let go of me. Come on, stop. Get off me. What did they want? The news? Oh, come on, Bob. She was our mum. You deserve to know. A witness has come forward. They saw Adam's car that day, driving out of the village. And he was driving? Well, apparently he was going too fast to tell. But it doesn't take a genius to work out what the police are thinking. You can't tell Adam. No, we won't. Hey, listen, cheers for that, Bob. Mum, you can't go to the police. They're clueless. Right, why would you want to do that? To spare you and finally have some peace and maybe not feel so suffocated with all this guilt. Oh, yeah, you will. You will. Only you'll be in a cell with 24 hours a day to think about it. I'm going. This is good. He said his car was in the garage all night and now it's been seen. Yeah, that's what worries me. Adam hasn't got an alibi. He murdered our mum and now we'll go down for it. Bit of a coincidence, her suddenly remembering seeing Adam Barton's car. No, I believe her. He's our man. But you're their main suspect. So what? They got zero evidence. Look, we shut up and we get on with our lives. But what if this witness remembers who was actually driving the car and gives them a description? White male. That's what it is. Short dark hair. Who's that remind you of? And whose car was it? Adam Barton's got motive, opportunity and no alibi. I just hope he hasn't made any holiday plans. What about this Benton? What if he won't give up? He keeps on coming for you. I'll be fine. The police have got nothing on me. <laughs>